All right, so let's do a demo of setting up SigWin. Um, I'm going to do a SigWin setup, but also for people that want to run Python. So obviously, this is for Windows users. Um, you go to SigWin.com, get that Linux feeling on Windows. So 32 or 64-bit installation, you're probably going to go with the 64-bit um, for most of you. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. Shouldn't take long here. There we go. So we'll run that executable. And we'll say yes. And we'll say yes. We're installing from the internet, definitely. Where do you want to install it? That default's good. C Sigma 64, that's what you want. Probably for all users. Um, sure, that sounds good. I've got a direct connection to the internet, that's good. Choose a mirror, doesn't really matter which one. Um, just be careful if you're on the tech campus, you don't want something with an FTP protocol uh, with the FTP at the beginning because that's blocked on our campus. So I'll go, go ahead and just choose the first one. And then we'll let it uh, download the header files basically to let us know what packages are available. So if you're just installing Sigwin for the shell purposes of having a terminal window, then we just go ahead and go all the defaults. But there's at least one thing we'd like to install here. So I'm going to search up in that search box. I'm just typing Python 3 all together with no space. And it'll find me everything that has Python 3 in it. Now, there's lots of stuff here. Don't go and hit like install everything. You don't want that. So I'm going to open up the interpreters. There's the Python 3 language interpreter. That's what I want. So I'm going to click once on this skip button. What that's going to do is going to set me up to install this latest version, binary only. I could choose to download and install the source if I wanted to. Um, for some packages, there's multiple versions, so you could click through them. Ah, that's not what I wanted. You can click through multiple versions. In this one, there's just that single version. So that's really all I want. You could go through and find other stuff to install. At any time, you can go and run this setup as well. Um, to update packages or remove packages or add more because Sigwin isn't really a program it's a program to install programs so we're going to go ahead and hit the next it's going to let us know well to install what you want Ken we're going to need all this other stuff sounds good to me and I'll hit this next button and then we'll uh, we'll let this go along here and I'll, uh, I'll let well that looks like we're actually done now. So <clears throat> we want to probably create a desktop on the icon if you like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of filling up my start menu and icon with things. Oh, maybe I'll leave it there. Nah, I don't use it that much on this computer. I'm usually on Linux on this machine. So I'll go ahead and finish. And we should be good to go. Now, um, if I see Sigwin and then yeah, so that's what's gonna it would have created an icon for us there. So uh, no, that's not what I want. I want to run Sigwin. There we go. So it's up. We can see that Python three minus V with a capital V tells us that Python's installed. I could do sig drive c users. Uh, I'm guessing it's can, and then desktop, and then I'm at my desktop, and I can compile my Python program. But I'm not going to go into that right now. Basically, this was about going in, setting up Sigwin, having Python ready to go. We can see it's ready to go. I could type just Python three and be the Python shell and you know print stuff like seven plus three times two which should give me 13 right um because it's seven plus three times two which is seven times plus six 13. so we're good and i'll close that off and we will stop recording <laughs>